Abraham in Motion is a modern dance company that is a big hybrid of all these different dance forms. Combining both the formal structure and the social dance, the found contemporary gestures, it adds up to his voice. Lending or layering of uh, material or concepts or genres of dance, you're really trying to then find the most honest self. And as someone that really kind of grew up in the early ages of hip hop, that's such a pivotal time for music in general. That's a time when everyone in urban culture is also connected to rock and roll because channels like MTV are really playing, they're playing Run DMC and then they're playing Aerosmith and then those two artists collaborate. There's just so much more hybridity culturally that was happening at that time. That I think it's just imperative that it finds its way into how we're kind of thinking about movement and how we're layering the movement. He has a way of using so many historical references of choreography, of modern, postmodernism, and even some contemporary styles. He mixes them together in a way that doesn't seem previously done. It doesn't feel like a ballet technique, but it, it, it is also very organic in the body. The process is always new and different, but first and foremost, there's a lot of creation of movement, of yeah. material. Without even necessarily any context to the movement, we build a lot of material. It is authentic, I think, for me personally. I enjoy watching when he's generating. I have to remember that it is his movement. Like, it's coming from him and his body, and we're just, in the best way possible, trying to uh, translate. He gives us some trust and some responsibility on ourselves to, to push that limit and Kyle often recognizes that everybody's voice is valid. But there's never like real blueprint to creating anything with us. I think the thing that all of us have in common is that we all walk in the room with very open minds. Thinking of yourself as a person first before the dancer part of you comes in. I think I appreciate the moments where I can just stand on stage and look at someone. So much of the work now is pushing forward with trust. If I need their trust, I have to also figure out how to open things up for me so that they can trust me and I can trust them. And ideally we get to something that is much more tangible and fragile. And the music, I mean, Kyle's got an incredible ear. And I've, I have so many times, I mean, young to old, have run into audience members and just wanted to like get a, play, a soundtrack to the, the night. When he's playing a music from the 50s, like people know the pop music and then they'll know, oh, what is going on at that time period, what's happening. People will relate to that already. The pop culture about yeah, the, the social, aspect, the social yeah. aspect, I feel like that already create a story. Every single dance has had a playlist. It might take me a year to two years to do some research in a preliminary state. And during that time, I'm just putting a sound score together to be playing in rehearsal. So if I am using some song from the Baroque era and then I go and use some NWA or Ghetto Boys or something, there's something for me that draws those two things together. Because in my mind, they actually do coexist and they need to coexist. Or maybe they totally don't. And that jarring sense of shift is really important. The work that I'm most interested in making is work that's kind of set up like an enactment. So it's something that you're walking in upon, different from something that is meant to be super presentational. I really want the experience to have a sense that maybe this thing that's happening might just be happening just for you. Maybe you're the only person that's really seeing and recognizing it. There will always be a situation at an Abraham in Motion performance where you're sitting next to or near someone that you may not have come from the same walk of life and whatever we're doing on stage will promote a conversation. Ideally, everyone came to the theater and is having an experience and the conversations that they have after that could last a lifetime, you never know. Um, but that is part of the excitement, is realizing that it's art that affected that.